some nights costing $265,000, $200,000, and even more than a half a million. Hold on, bro. Let's see how you tipping these people because, like, no tip. You're a scumbag. Huh? Wow, no it. way. You know how much money got her. Whoa. Like it's game time. Oh, no. He started splurging, huh? Like oh, my gosh. I wake up. You know, I haven't seen much about this guy. I just knew he did this. Now, to be fair, if I was the average 21-year-old scammer who just came across $230 million in Bitcoin, I probably would have did the same and crashed out. I'm sorry. Like, With that much money, I'm probably going ham on cars, cool and hoes, man. I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. I'm only here for a good time, not a long time. As the old keep heads bean, used to this say, from Connecticut, bro. It's the 19th of August, 2024, the day a group of young adults <laughs> carried out one of the largest sorry. crypto heists ever recorded. 20-year-old Malone Lem, 18-year-old Vera Chattel, 21-year-old Jendiel Serrano, Danish Khan, and Chen. These kids targeted a single Genesis creditor who had no idea they were about to lose a staggering $230 million worth of Bitcoin. Well, goddamn. I, I didn't even Genesis. realize there were so many people in on this scam. But by the looks of it, there's five individuals involved in this scam. One by the name of Malone, Veer, Jean D. So how come they don't have the picture of this guy here, bro? He deserves to have his picture up here. So that we all know who to avoid, bro, for real. Because Danish like, and Chen. And at this point in time, all five of them are cooked. And not only because they, they decided to flex so hard and bought all these exotic cars and homes and luxury goods, not understanding the in feds would eventually the catch them, wild. but it's also because they made the feds' job so easy by posting all this shit to the internet. It's like mm -hmm. they made their own little documentary, How to Steal Bitcoin, Flex, and Get Caught 101. And coming up soon, plates. you guys are going to see yep. the footage of the exact moment of when they stole these funds it all began with a phone oh call. shit it there's harmless wait whoa, whoa whoa there's live footage of this nah that's crazy contact from google support but this call wasn't from google at all using a spoof number vhl also known as Wiz, convinced the victim that their personal accounts had been compromised with this false sense of urgency he gained access to the victim's gmail and iCloud. iCloud. <laughs> iCloud. <laughs> I don't know if that's per on purpose or not, but that's funny, bro. Where he gathered key security formation. Another call followed, this time from Jendiel Serrano, aka Box, claiming to be a representative from Gemini, the crypto exchange the Gemini? victim used. The victim was strictly you mean, believing their account was under attack. Under pressure and convinced they needed to Gemini? act fast, the victim reset their two-factor authentication settings, giving the thieves the access they needed to take control of the Gemini account, quickly sending funds to a compromised wallet. The situation was spiraling, but the victim had no idea. When he was asked Damn. to use AnyDesk, a remote access software, it seemed like another step in securing their assets, but in reality, it was the final blow. As the victim unknowingly shared the screen, the private keys oh, to their Bitcoin wallet shit. were exposed, and in just a few clicks, the digital fortune was transferred into the hands of the thieves. Oh, wow. Wow. No way. No. I just want to say- Oh, that's fucking nasty, bro. This is nasty work, bro. I get a fucking job, bro. Like, this, this, is, this is nasty work, bro. Hey, for anybody who has crypto wallets right now, or if you're an investor in the crypto market, or even an old person with a 401k, pension account, investment account, brokerage accounts, whatever the case may be, don't ever, and I mean ever, allow some random ass person to call you up and tell you your accounts are compromised without- That's, uh, that's another thing, bro. Like, I can't, I can't be like, you know, it's all on the fucking, um, the scammers, because at the same time, if you get in a call talking about, oh, your account was compromised, hang the fucking phone up, bro. These these companies always tell you we will never call you about personal information. We will never email you about personal information. We'll only mail you or whatever. Or maybe some of them will email, but they they always say we'll never call you. It's just oh my god. Oh, calling the bank themselves first. As soon as you that hear too. that, call say, okay, thank you for notifying up. me. However, I will give call you a call back people. to the official banking number just to verify that this is not a scam. Have a lovely day and hang up the phone. Also, do not click on any links in your email addresses. Any of these weird ass scammer emails trying to tell you to download this, install this, download this file and use this code it's, to open the link. Bad, like, bro. nah, call that. Because odds are it's a scam and it's either a musty ass 18 year old boy with no job trying to take all your money or some Later. dusty ass Nigerian Indian scammer trying to steal your identity and open a thousand different credit cards in your name so they can buy shit overseas i mean don't tell me with this but anyway here was the moment where <laughs>
That's literally, bro. It's insane. They finally secured over $230 million worth of Bitcoin. Wow. I, wow. I wonder, did this did this Bitcoin get put back in like like refunded to the original person? Way. This is fucking disgusting. So yeah, you bro. can hear one of the nerds in the call sounding like he's on the verge of creaming his pants after finding out that their scam team just secured $238 million worth of Bitcoin. And honestly, the fact that this footage even exists of this guy freaking out in the call, screen recording the screen of what they were doing at that exact point in time with the person's desktop apps, time zone, form of internet connection, file names, and a whole bunch of other compromised data in the form of metadata, which is attached mm -hmm. to the file of the recording itself. Like, like, why is this generation obsessed with recording their crimes and posting mm -hmm. it to the internet? Like, had this specific video not existed, they probably would have a better case in court. They probably would have had a stronger defense. But the fact that mm -hmm. this very recording exists and one of these idiots decided to record them committing dozens of felonies is just utter insanity. I, I just, uh, I, I don't get it, man. While most of the crew chose to play it safe, keeping a low profile and resisting the temptation to splurge, one man couldn't help but stand out. His name? Malone Lamb. Malone was yeah. based in LA, and this the moment guy, he got his hands on the money, Starts he wasted splurging. no time diving head first into a luxurious lifestyle. Everything he had once watched the wealthy people enjoy was now within his reach, ready to become his new reality. When, oh, hold on, what did that say? Once watched the wealthy when you see them spend 100k at the club before they get called by the FBI for a crypto scam. People enjoyed, Yikes. was now within his reach, ready to become his new reality. Nightclubs became his second well, home. Well, I hope it Almost was worth it, night, bro. Those the club, few days that you were infamous of money in the club, VIP sections, I hope it was services. worth it, bro. His bar tabs were unbelievable. Some nights costing $265,000, $300,000, and even more than a half a million. Hold on, bro. Let's see how you tipping these people because, like... No tip, nigga? No tip, nigga? You're a scumbag. You're a scumbag. No tip at all, bro. You're a fucking scumbag, bro. This one, they had to do included gratuity because, like, obviously... In a oh single my night. Like, that shit thousand? is crazy, my guy. Like, just looking at these receipts, and I'm not gonna look at everything, but the fact that this kid was spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every night in different types of clubs proves that no matter how much money you give a broke person, as soon as they come up, they will be broke within a matter of years, if not even less. Like, this is just Days, completely months. unnecessary. Yeah. That's what I said, bro. Hundred. This nigga spent half a million dollars. At the club in one night. Do you realize how fucking stupid that is? I don't even want to look at the receipts. In one receipt, it says $70,000 on two ace of spades. My $29,000 on 15 bottles of Don Julio 1942. $390 on a six pack Red Bull sugar free bucket. Good lord. Like, I'm going to just say tripping. this, man. And this is something I stand by. Money can't make a lame not lame. If you're a lame That's without a money, you instantly get rich overnight. You're not all of a sudden going to be cool. All you now are is just a lame with money. Who the f is my Hey, yo, Malone, you going real crazy like it's your birthday. His name will be flashing on signs, and DJs will shout his name, giving him all the attention. Malone! Set me bottles, Malone! Welcome home, Malone. Thank you for the $100,000 in bottles right now. Jesus, Malone, this is next level. Malone, you're not stuck. He was spending hundreds of thousands of Idiot. dollars to seek validation from people who didn't give a fuck about that's, it. But that's, what, that's what I said just a few minutes ago, bro. To be infamous in the club. Ain't nobody give a fuck, bro. They, it, it, I hope it was worth it, bro. He could have changed his whole family's lives, bought them homes, cars, investment properties, went overseas, mm -hmm. invested in other countries, mm -hmm. got citizenship, bought mm -hmm. offshore accounts, could have spread tens of millions of dollars all over Asia, Africa, mm -hmm. the Caribbean, and Europe, just to have multiple backup plans and contingencies ever if the feds were on his tail. But no, but he was out here flexing in Miami every night, wasting money on shit that don't even matter. So mm -hmm. what did he do? He chartered Bottles. a private jet to Miami. There, he took his spending to a whole new level. In Miami, Malone settled in a waterfront 
one mention, this place wasn't just any house. It was a $10.5 million estate with a $62,000 a month rental price tag. This mansion was massive, covering over 8,500 square feet with 25 feet ceilings, 10 bedrooms, and a huge pool with a jacuzzi. It had two big front gates girl and a garage with a spacious driveway that was later filled with expensive supercars and luxury vehicles. And he genuinely... Like, bro, what, what, what do you do? What do you do when you want to take this Ferrari out? Field with you gotta move the Lambo, you gotta move the Maserati, you gotta move the G-Wagon. he genuinely thought the feds, the IRS, that many cars the FBI, is and every other three-lettered agency out there wouldn't begin to start asking questions mm -hmm. as to why a 20-year-old has access to this amount of wealth. Where did he get this money from? What is his job history? What investment mm -hmm. accounts does he have? Where did this money come from? Exactly, did he really bro. My 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 family always told me, bro, when whenever you spend more than ten thousand dollars, even in cash, well, cash is a little bit easier because that's not traceable. But they always told me whenever you spend ten thousand dollars, that's when the IRS starts asking questions, bro. That's when you spend ten thousand, like like on a single purchase. That's when the IRS starts asking questions, bro. So being a twenty year old and you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars every night in the club and then you buy a 10 million dollar mansion these niggas are gonna start asking some questions bro we think he could just skip the entire process of money laundering and just go straight to buying luxury shit Stupid, Malone stupid. bought a black Manzuri SF90, Not a white Lamborghini Urus, a fully kitted out white Manzuri Lamborghini Urus with baby blue interior, a matte black Lamborghini Revuelto, the new Porsche 911 GT3 RS, the new Ferrari SUV in black, two Idiot. Mercedes Benz G Class, one in grey, one wrapped with matte black camo, a convertible matte black and pink Rolls Royce Dawn, a blue BMW M4, another Lamborghini Revuelto in matte grey, a blue Lamborghini Urus, an all white white body kit Lamborghini Aventura SVJ with Malone's name written on the bottom of the door, a matte black Ferrari at 12 Superfast, another Lamborghini Aventura SVJ in blue, a pink Euros, which Malone originally bought as a gift for his ex girlfriend to yes. try to get her back, but got rejected again. Yeah, bro, when I saw that, to try oh. to get her back, but got rejected again. Yeah, bro, when I saw, <laughs> see, 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 y'all, see, that's what he was saying earlier in the video, too. Just because you got money now doesn't make you less of a lame ass nigga, bro. Cause bro literally sent her a picture of a pink Lamborghini Urus as like, hey, this is yours if you're gonna be mine again. I'm taken once again. Nigga, that shit ain't getting no hoes, bro. Saw that shit, bro. The fact that this man bought a pink Lamborghini for some random ass fan style and in a text message he said i got you a present we'll call it an early birthday gift and by the way a car like this at the time was probably like i don't know three to four hundred thousand dollars uh -huh. he also followed it up by saying a thank you gift i appreciate you so much pink heart emoji and what does she respond back with i am taken once again meaning this man was already in the process of trying to although she did unsend a message so maybe she's trying to make herself look like a good guy but she unsent something here we need to know what that was simp not once not twice but like multiple times like how do you yo how do you bro imagine being that you know what's crazy he sent her a picture of it and then like later sent these messages because obviously down back to where you buy a girl a three hundred thousand dollar vehicle spending all this bread on her simping to the max you sent her a photo of the car and she just pulls out the I have a boyfriend card. <laughs> Malone thought he was untouchable, but behind the scenes, law enforcement and experts like Zach that. and SPT were already connecting the dots. Through his flash spending, investigators tracked large transactions linked to the stolen Bitcoin, using blockchain analysis to Idiot. map out the movement of funds. What's more, both Box and Wiz slipped up during the process of laundering the funds. On several occasions, they accidentally leaked the stolen funds with their personal assets which for example also licked his full name during a screen stupid recording. ass stupid these stupid mistakes ass. combined with recorded conversations and digital footprints painted a clear picture of the criminal's activities by mid-september 2024 the fbi and other authorities had gathered enough evidence to act on the 19th of september federal agents raided malone's miami mansion where he was arrested surrounded by all the luxuries he had bought with a stolen fortune it was at this moment malone Done. knew Literally.
Life over, bro. Life over, bro. That's insane, bro. I'm glad he got what he deserved, bro. Cause that's 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 disgusting. That's disgusting work anyway, bro. That's disgusting work anyway. I'm glad he got fucked up like that, bro. Idiot ass nigga.